earlier in your career, you were a client of Cisco. Yeah. Now, what did working with them teach you about customer intimacy? I learned about customer intimacy as a customer of Cisco's. Yeah. Uh, and obviously getting to Cisco under, and, and really understanding how they supported customers was critical. I think a lot of people believe that customer intimacy is about having nice lunches and shaking hands and getting out onto golf courses, which, which is an important part of business, but it doesn't necessarily reflect the operating model that okay. the company uses. Yeah. Uh, so Cisco's operating model, right, I mean, the operating processes, right, that drive the company in terms of keeping promises to customers is what Cisco did really, really well when I was a customer at Hewlett Packard. As I mentioned, you know, if we had a problem, right, we needed a particular type of feature or even a bug fix, right, they really had a well honed machine that captured that concern, assessed it, and then really delivered a solution to yeah. it. So that, that, that was really what I would call customer intimacy, right, is, is really delivering on your promises.